हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मुकुंदराज बाबूराव पाटिल लेट रमेश वरपुरकर आर्ट कॉमर्स साइंस कॉलेज सोनपेट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्लाज्मोलिसिस इन ऑस्मोसिस वी हैव सीन दैट देयर आर थ्री काइंड्स ऑफ सॉल्यूशंस हाइपोटोनिक सॉल्यूशन हाइपरटोनिक सॉल्यूशन एंड आइसोटोनिक सॉल्यूशन व्हाई देयर इज अ टू काइंड ऑफ ऑस्मोसिस that is endosmosis and exosmosis when cells are kept in hypotonic solution endosmosis occurs and the turgidity of the cell increases in contrast to that when cells are kept in hypertonic solution exosmosis occurs as far as plant cells are concerned the outermost wall that is cell wall it is rigid and permeable in nature why plasma membrane it is a semi permeable membrane and it is elastic in nature when exosmosis occurs the turgor pressure of this the protoplasm it decreases due to that as plasma membrane is elastic in nature it shrink it leave its original place and it go away from cell wall thus there is a creation of gap between the cell wall and plasma membrane this phenomenon it is known as incipient plasmolysis if the concentration of external solution is more or if solution is more hypertonic this shrinking it will continues and one stage comes where protoplasm it appears a ball ball like structure at the center this is a complete plasmolysis the gap between the plasma membrane and cell wall it is filled with hypertonic solution in this way the plasmolysis phenomenon is attributed to the nature of cell wall and plasma membrane such type of plasmolysis it is having different significance it is very helpful to explain or it confirms the semi permeable nature or selectively permeable nature of the plasma membrane plasmolysis is also used to determine osmotic pressure of the cell principle of plasmolysis is utilized in the preservation of meat where the salting of meat is carried out it is also utilized in the jams and jelly where highly concentrated sugar solution is used deposition of any microorganisms like bacteria or fungi results into the plasmolysis of cell thus it protect germs and jelly from different kinds of microorganisms 